Hello, everyone, and welcome to the For This Moment podcast. This is our very first episode, and we are so excited that you are here with us. My name is Laura Matthews, and I am joined by my sister, Megan Sternhagen. And we're just so glad you're here. Megan, how are you feeling? I am excited. Uh, This has been quite a few months in the uh, making and planning. So to actually be sitting here recording is, uh, it's exciting. (laughs) I know I can't believe it, but God has, has put it on our hearts and we just have this great opportunity to be able to, to make this dream a reality. And I can't think of somebody else I'd rather do it with than you, my little sister. (laughs) Oh, gosh. (laughs) Megan, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. Um, Hi, everybody. Uh, Like Laura said, my name is Megan Sternhagen. Um, I apologize if our voices sound similar. Um, That comes with the uh, fact that we are sisters. Um, But we, uh, I, hmm. (laughs) who am I? (laughs) Who am I? (laughs) That's a good question. Laura and I were talking um, earlier and just, I was saying, I think that what I'm going to be able to bring to the podcast is the uh, relatability aspect of, uh, you know, tired mom, bad nights of sleep, not being able to finish sentences, you know, it's the charm. It really is. It's my, (laughs) my individual charm. So anyway, um, I am a wife and of about 10 years this April. I know. I can't believe it. It both feels like it's been an entire lifetime and wasn't I 20 a few minutes ago. So, uh, yeah, I, my husband, Nicholas and I will have been married for 10 years. Uh, we have four absolutely gorgeous children, uh, that I love with all my heart, um, between the ages of seven and six months. Um, I think again, not quite sure. (laughs) Um, We live in our little piece of earth in uh, Westfield, Indiana. And, uh, you know, I do my best to give glory to God through my homeschooling and my homemaking. And uh, more or less, that's, that's who I am. Um, Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Laura? So my name is Laura Matthews, and I'm a consecrated woman of Regnum Christi. I've been consecrated for 17 years. So I remember that because last year I was saying that I was 16 going on 17, and now I'm 17 going on 18. (laughs) And uh, belonging to Jesus and uh, serving him have brought me many places throughout the world. So I've lived in Rhode Island, in St. Louis, in Texas and was over in Europe for eight years, uh, especially in Spain and Switzerland. And most of my ministry has been mentoring adolescent girls working in schools, and it's been a great gift. Now I find myself in Atlanta, Georgia, beautiful state of Georgia, studying my master's in psychology and uh, just enjoying, enjoying the abundant life with our Lord. So that's a little bit of who we are, mm-hmm. just some homegrown Midwest girls and uh, just so grateful to be able to connect with you uh, lovely ladies here on this platform. And so I guess I can give you a little bit of a background story of where the podcast came from. Yes. Uh, So it was actually during the territorial convention. So the convention that the Redding Christie members had in Chicago in November that I was initially inspired just hearing so many beautiful stories of mission and what God is doing around the North American territory, around the United States and Canada, but as well the Philippines and South Korea, and just really marveling at at the glory of God through the lives of these people. And right after the territorial convention, I got to go to my family's home in Indiana for Thanksgiving. And we were sitting around talking and I was sharing with my sisters, um, we're five girls and my mom sharing these beautiful stories of, uh, of the kingdom that I heard in the convention. And I just thought to myself, wow, I wish we could just all sit around the dining room table and share life together and share what God is doing in this moment. 
So that's where the podcast actually happened was just that this can be a place and a space for women to share what it is God is doing in their lives in this very moment and for us to be able to join together because so many of us are so spread far apart and it can feel like you're disconnected and you're not really part of something greater. Uh, so we really wanted to offer this, this space for each one of us to just take a moment and see for just, um, for just a short span of time how we're connected to one another in this greater story of uh, salvation history. Mm -hmm. And how many times does inspiration strike around uh, a glass of wine and uh, some good food around the kitchen table? Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel and like, I... It... I'm sorry, what were you saying? No, actually the, the dining room table is kind of the symbol of this little gathering space of the podcast. Um, Very just true. To give you guys a backstory, um, my sister and I, our family has a dining room table that we actually got from a Benedictine monastery that belonged to um, my great aunt. Uh, and it was just this table, this beautiful wooden table uh, that's probably over 150 years old. And that was transferred then to my my growing up my childhood home. And now you have it, right, Meg? I do. It was the perfect size for our family of uh, 12 kids. Um, and now I'm just doing my my very best to uh, make it um, fit our family. So it's <laughs> right now it's perfect for all the coloring and the endless amounts of projects that my kids get into. Um, but just going back to what you were saying, Laura, about uh, that idea of how God has prepared us and made us for this moment. Um, I feel like it can be so easy to uh, kind of downplay your daily moments. The, you know, it'll be, it'll mean something to the Lord when it's great or when I'm in front of a big crowd or when I have a big audience or, I mean, at least for me being an extrovert and an external processor, I love, I love a good crowd. I love uh, a good stage, <laughs> but um, I feel like oftentimes us mothers especially uh, have to really lean into um, the gospel passage of, uh your father sees what is hidden in secret you know behind closed doors and um i just want to say that this i my prayer and hope that this space is is that um inspiration for you that those tiny moments do matter and uh you know whatever your walk of life be it's not just the mothers who have the hidden moments it's all of us, um, very little of our lives, you know, whatever social media tells you, very little of our lives are actually seen and um, and it can it can weigh down on us sometimes. So I just hope to give you that inspiration and that motivation that Christ has made you for these moments, for this specific moment. Yes, what you were just saying right now reminded me of a passage in 2 Corinthians uh, where St. Paul speaks about the power of a moment. He says, for now I have but a light affliction, but for a moment, but it shall be turned into the weight of glory. So St. Paul mm -hmm. was able to compare this experience of my afflictions are but for a moment, but they will be transformed into the weight of glory. And that's really what our desire is here on this podcast is for us to share our hearts together and for the women to be able to listen to stories that are filled with the weight of glory of our King, uh, Christ, the King, who, who is the one who makes our lives glorious, um, who puts together, who pieces together this, the strands and the moments and the, the tiny pieces of our lives and weaves a story of greatness. And the title for this moment comes from uh, two, two quotes of very beautiful women. First, uh, St. Joan of Arc, who, when she was charging off for her first battle, they asked her, are you afraid? And she said, I am not afraid. God is with me. I was born for this. And I'd just like to highlight this. That's the mm -hmm. essence of this podcast is the, this, what is this that you are made for and this that you are called for? And the second quote is from Queen Esther when she was called to go before the king to defend her people. And uh, Mordecai asked, 
could it be that you were brought and you were created for such a time as this? Again, underlining this. What is this that you were created for? What is this? What is this purpose that your life is is filled with? And each one of us, whether we are called to great things or small things, are called to a certain time and place and mission. And uh, and really just to be able to to marvel at that and see how God is able to work through us. And um, I hope that in being in this process of being seen and being known together as sisters around this table in this podcast, we can see glimmers of the kingdom and glimmers of glory. Mm-hmm. Yes. Two sisters, one spirituality. Um, <laughs> um, exactly. Yeah, but like, okay, so <clears throat> going into the practicalities, like what will this actually look like? Um, our, our vision is like Laura said, the sitting around the table, um, facilitating conversation that will um, inspire and motivate. And so we are going to be having um, hopefully many uh, women from around the world here on this platform so that we can hear, um, you know, how how Christ first touched their hearts and um, invited them on this journey. Um, you know, how, where, how and when they uh, discovered their vocation or their calling, and then what is he currently um, calling them to in this moment? Where, like, where has that led them? And I think it's going to be so beautiful because you're not going to hear the same story twice. It's going to be completely different because our Lord loves us all uniquely and individually. Um, So I am very excited to hear all of these stories from these women. I also wanted to let everyone know that I will have, uh, I'll put my email in the show notes. Yes. So as you listen to this, as you listen to this, if you are inspired and you would like to be on the For This Moment podcast, we would love to connect with you, love to hear your story, love to just share our hearts with you and for you to share your heart with us. And hopefully this can also be a space and a place not only for for us to feel connected and a sense of belonging, but also to hear about the beautiful apostolates and missions that are happening around around the world. And Mm -hmm. and I just wanted to underline as well um, the word impact, because each one of us has an impact, kind of like if you throw a rock into a pond and there's the impact of the ripples that go out through, through the entire pond there's an impact each one of our lives makes. And that is so, so important to remember that, you know, sometimes we, we just think that um, for something to be successful, there has to be multitudes and mega success, but really it's about the impact that, that happens in, in a single heart, a single heart that is moved, somebody who comes closer to God, someone who, who, who enters a church for the first time after an encounter. So that's what for this moment is also about is, is the power of impact of women making an impact around, around the world. And, and that's why I wanted to launch this as well on March 8th, international women's day as a way to celebrate and thank God for the feminine genius and the gift of, of the Regnum Christi women. So what do you think, Meg? Are you excited? <laughs> Yes, I am. I think I think it's going to be beautiful. Um, I was just thinking uh, while you were talking, I know that sometimes it can be hard to, like I mentioned at the beginning, to not feel lonely or alone in your mission or in your, um, especially us as random Christie women, you know, like you said, we're not, we, we don't feel like this giant multitude where everybody knows or everybody is in the same team or whatever, but the, uh, I hope that it can help us to, um, connect like you said and also to find uh communion with each other and um you know one thing that you will probably pick up on as uh this podcast continues is that laura and i and most of our family are diehard uh lord of the rings nerds so (laughs) the jarrah tolkien quotes are gonna be flying just effortlessly um i just uh started thinking about uh the the um what Galadriel says when she gives Frodo uh the light of 
Elendir. Yes, Elendir, of course. <laughs> no, how shame. Could I, no shame. How could I forget that name? <laughs> but when she gives him the light and um, she tells him, may it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. And I feel like that is that is what communion is about. That is what this fellowship of women is about, is uh, being a light for each other. So yes, I am very excited. I'm looking forward to our first interview. And um yeah, I, I mean, I'm just looking forward to see where where it all goes, you know, sometimes you can feel like a very little person, like I was saying, like a little, a very little hobbit stepping out into uh, the big road and being like, I don't know where this is going to take me. Like, uh, I don't, um, I feel like this is just our very little, our very little space, our, um, our very little impact. Like, I don't know who it's going to reach or what we're going to be doing but i i like you have said god has put it on our hearts so he must want it um whether or not it reaches millions or a couple dozen so yeah and i think that that is encouraging that we feel little because that's those are the people that the lord chooses are are the small the hidden mm -hmm. the little like our lady um like the the three shepherd children of fatima like saint Therese. Just he chooses the simple so that he can have the glory. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's I think it's a good good thing that we feel small in this, and uh, so he can just work his wonders. So we look forward to connecting with all of you every other week on Friday. So not this coming Friday, but the following, uh, we'll have our first interview, and we're excited to speak to mothers, to wives, to consecrated, to professional women, to college students whoever you are, whatever walk of life you, you are living, we want to hear your story and, and how you see God working for this moment in your life. And um, we're just so excited that you're here. And I just wanted to end with a, a simple prayer of blessing, asking the Lord to just come and, and be with you wherever you are listening to this. Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of, of this fellowship. Thank you for the gift of this communion. And we ask that you bless all who are listening to this podcast, that they can feel that they were created for a definitive purpose and a mission, that you have great plans for their lives, that you love them, and that you desire their fulfillment. Lord, we ask that you you bless this, this podcast, this first pilot episode, and we want to place everything underneath the mantle of your Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We can't wait to talk to you all soon. God bless. Yes. God bless everybody.